All right, Libras, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. This could also be for the cross watchers. Aloha, loves. Aloha, suns and waters. Hit that like button for me. We are going to start off with an oracle card from the angels and ancestors deck. Then we're going to pull a few cards from tarot to see what's going on with the energy. I trust you all are doing well. Hit that like button, share, and subscribe. Check out the information in the description box if you're feeling called to book a personal reading. Keep in mind this is a general reading, so take what resonates and leave the rest. It's not gonna... It's not gonna what? I don't know. So... Your oracle card is the eagle. See from a higher perspective. Libras, I feel like you're going through this death and rebirth process. I'm feeling the energies of a resurrection. You could be seeing a lot of eagles at this time. That could be your spirit animal. Let's get into the message of this card. All right. <clears throat> Look at things from a different angle. Fly higher and see new possibilities. In animal medicine, both Native American and Celtic, the eagle draws his power and strength from the sun. He is a powerful, strong, and courageous guide who sees for miles. He approaches all things with intelligence, grace, and poise, and has the capacity to make a plan from a higher space before putting it into action. When the ego card appears in a reading, it shows you that you have the ability to take things higher and move beyond the limitations of your ego and selfish desires. Ego medicine swirls around you, encouraging you to recognize that your views or visions may be limited at this time. Is there a chance that your own desperation, needs, or ego could be blocking you from seeing the potential in your current situation? If there are other people involved, you're being guided to see things from everyone's perspective. If you're feeling the need for something to change, how can you take the higher world, higher road? Know that if you have intentions that aren't for the highest good, it will only hold you back. Ego medicine can help you change this. The ego brings the energy of healing and love directly from the heart of Father Sky and invites you to do all things from a place of love. All right, beautiful energies taking the higher road. So there could be energies here lingering in regards to desperation. The ego could be blocking someone from seeing potential in a current situation, huh? So let's see what's going on with that. What is this energy trying to tell you? When I add up the numbers of this page, it leads me to number eight, which is the strength card represented by Leo. So this could be something coming about during Leo season. You could be dealing with a Leo. Or maybe that's just the energies that spirit wants you to be in. Self-love, unconditional love, bravery, courage. Maybe you're dealing with somebody who's stubborn. You could even be the stubborn one right now. And it's like, I feel the call of... What is this? I don't know. What is the call, Spirit? What is that call? Wow, Nine of Cups. And the Hanged Man with the lovers at the bottom of the deck. So this could be a love call. Maybe there is potential with someone you're dealing with, with a goal, a career. But because we have these cards, I feel like it's in regards to love, some sort of emotional connection something you something you prayed for maybe the ego is getting in the way somebody's having to see things from someone else's point of view so 
a lot of dreams being realized, a lot of pleasure here, fulfillment. Somebody's getting the recognition they've been wanting. And I also feel like this is on your end as well, like recognizing, like, I see it now. I see it now. There's also a period of having to sit back, having to hold back, having to take a step back to, to see things more clearly, to see things from a higher perspective. There's like readjustments and improvement happening here within this love connection. What are these adjustments? I feel like the adjustments are seeing things from a higher perspective. The adjustments is coming from a place of love. Taking a leap of faith to come from a place of love. the hermit so someone's definitely getting enlightened i feel like a reality check energy or a light bulb moment right yeah that's why i said i see it now spirit's calling someone to open up be generous with their time and energy maybe somebody's realizing how generous their person is somebody's seen I feel like someone even could have seen this person at work or someone just in their element and they're like, wow, I never seen this side of you. This is beautiful. Why were they unable to see it, spirit? Wow, look, the strength card came out. Hmm. I just heard they were unable to see it or whatever this energy is. Someone was unable to see it because they were trying to be strong. What does that mean? Control. They were trying to control themselves, trying to control their emotions. Maybe somebody was going through this period of learning how to be patient as well. Whoa, let's get a card for the outcome of this energy. Page of Swords, getting to know this person. Willing to learn. Yeah, I feel like somebody has to be in this energy of willing to learn. I feel like this could make this connection stronger. Is what I heard. So, what came up was a page of swords. Yeah, it's like being excited, being willing to... Broaden your horizons is what I just heard. I feel like somebody here could always be the one to lead and someone's <clears throat> being open to someone leading them, someone teaching them something new. Being in this energy of curiosity, eagerness. All right. And the lovers at the bottom of the deck, again, I didn't pull it out. That's why I'm here. It is love. Deeply rooted in love. Someone's going through a heart chakra awakening. I want to read this lover's card because this gives me beauty and the beast vibes. And that could be really relevant for some of you. Yeah. Huh, it's a China, it's from China, a Danish fairy tale. The lover's card represents romance, opposites attracting, the duality of balance and carn carnality. 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 My bad. The fuck? Physicality. 
and fire versus spirituality, emotions and water. The pair emphasizes the importance of communication and herald an important crossroads. Wow. So love, harmony, trust, a leap of faith, choice. Coming from a place of love. I feel like when somebody comes from this place of love, whether it be you or your person, <clears throat> it, it tames even the most wildest beast, even the most stubborn hearts. There's a vibe I'm getting here for you, Libra. It's like, let your energy shine. You know, Libra speaks of the scales of balance. Things can be balanced when you're balanced because people will follow that lead, right? I'm hearing lead me. I feel like it's a song. It could be relevant for someone here. Lead me. All right. I love you all. Hit that like button. Aloha.